I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that you guys tax star. I'm ashamed. It doesn't come with the double A battery. You guys could at least supply one double. Hold on, before I talk more crap, let me just make sure. Anyway, guys, waking up early. Our parents had to wake up early. Like, they had to. They had to supply for the table. Like, me personally, my parents get up every day at like five. My dad barely sleeps. Even all the older generation, I go work out at like five or six in the morning at the local uh, gym, right? And like, everyone I see there is above 35, 40. Mostly 70, 60, like retired people. Like, they don't sleep. And I understand, like, our age, our generation, those are like, are young we do go out and we spend more time at night and doing nightlife and like going on the internet at night but the way I see it is that we have all our lives to do that in a better way because yeah I can go out now and have fun with all my friends and like spend money and get some drinks go to a club hit on chicks whatever it may be I could go out and have fun right and it'll be a little fun but like it's what everyone is doing but when you go on online when you go on the media social media or you go watch tv or you go look at or you, when we talk i hear people talk about what they want their, their dreams their goals their aspirations we all talk about it but it's difference between talking about it and being about it and doing it and you guys all know that and the only reason i say this is because most of us say we want something but we really don't want it and like our parents they want it because they have to they they don't miss sleep they cherish their lives they've lived that long to know how like how much time is valued how much they value time a lot more than our generation sadly and that's not me i value time more than anything in this world i value it way more than money because i know that time is money but time you can't get back money you can money you can lose some you can make it back you can go to work you can get a job you can figure it out but the time that you put into things you can't ever get that back so like think about what time you put into towards the money you make like how you spend that time how you allocate that time because everyone in this world no matter how rich you get how amazing you get how fit you get how whatever we still all have the same amount of time we all have 24 hours you guys know this 1440 minutes don't even know the, I don't remember the number in terms of seconds, but that's 1,440 times 60. That's what, 6,400 times 6 is 240, 2,400, 10,000, 6,000, fucking 8,400, 84,000, 2,000 years later, 6 and a half hours later, a few inches later, 86,400 seconds, right? That's some quick math. <laughs> Boom! Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick mess. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Just think about how the older generation is, right? How much they are awake throughout the days. I barely sleep every day, but I function fine. It's all about the mindset. It's all about the emotions that you bring upon yourself and force yourself to feel. Sometimes you may feel tired, but if you tell yourself that you're not tired, if you force yourself to get out, or it goes back to this quote that I sent a Snapchat to everyone in the morning the other day. It's by Albert Einstein. Life is like a bicycle. In order to keep balance, just keep moving. And that is so applicable to me and everyone around us because all we have to do to not be lazy is just keep moving. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. The moment you get out of bed, like everything comes natural, like putting on clothes, getting to work, going to work, whatever it is you do for work, whether it's actual work for others or work for yourself, whatever it may be. School, it doesn't matter as long as you're doing something, it's just, as long as you're not laying in bed. But even if you guys are laying in bed, there's ways to even be productive on your phone. Think about how you spend your time on your phone. How are you scrolling or are you posting? See what I mean? Like scrolling, you can watch all day. But posting, you're doing something to post. You guys are following me on Snapchat, actually. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know how much I'll be moving, <laughs> how active I'll be, how awake I am all the time. Look at this, I got. Vibes right here to you guys. Pow! Straight to you guys. Have a great Tuesday. Y'all kill it. The, the beauty behind Snapchat is that you 
get to see live time what people do and sometimes when I was scrolling at times and looking at people that I meet and that I, I end up meeting and adding them on snapchat and every day like I'll see what they're doing and now, nowadays I don't even bother scrolling or looking at people's feeds anymore or stories anymore We're, not because I don't want to it's because I'm busy making my own story and you know what it's nothing wrong to not post it's nothing wrong to be a watcher as long as you know you are don't front or don't flex or don't talk about being a person you're not because the majority of people in this world are watchers are people that work for others and there's nothing wrong with that because if I were to hate on that and I were to start my own company or my own business and try to hire people but then I would talk crap about people that work under people that would be contradicting and the fact of the matter is we have to all support each other and what we really want but it goes back to what I was talking about in my motivational video that I posted for the new year about honesty. We gotta be honest about who we are and what we want and what we wanna do. Because we know how to be honest. We know what we need to do. We know what we want to do. We know how to do it. We know what it takes to figure out how to do it. We all do. We, we're not dumb. We're human beings. We can listen. We can talk. We can share our knowledge. We can learn from each other, no matter who we are. I can go to a homeless person, ask that person's story, and I bet you anything, I will learn something from that conversation. But most people will judge, you know? They'll judge, but at the end of the day, what's the point of judging if you don't know the truth? This year is about honesty for me, and I hope it's the same way for everyone out there watching. Anyway, guys, I'm on my way to um, my favorite spot to... This beach is my study in Salem. It's this coffee bar slash bar, right? It's called the Archive. I'm basically gonna give them the hookup on this video. Like, I'm about to give them the plug. Only because they've been plugging me. Like, I, they've been allowing me to stay there for hours at a time. I do get my work and I'm there for many hours. So I know they are annoyed of seeing my face. It's coffee bar slash regular bar. It's very dope vibe. Salem, Oregon wasn't like that before. When I came up, I would not really like this hometown that I'm from because it's so ghetto. I mean, the vibe here is growing and people are starting to support each other more. And I think it's a more collective vibe, not just in Salem, but everywhere around the world because I, I know for a fact that the majority of people don't like their hometown. And like, when you hear songs from like Drake or like you watch shows or movies and see the hometowns, it's all the same vibes, like, you know, there's pe there's many people that want to explore the world because we live in the a time where exploring the world is possible. That brings me to the point that we shouldn't forget our roots. We should always stay rooted because without our roots, we can't grow. It's like a tree. We need our roots to grow and thrive and last and forever because if, if you're building yourself up, for example, trying to, you know, build your businesses or whatever you're trying to do, just grow and you talk crap about your parents or you hate your family or you hate where you're from you hate all that noise like you don't un they don't understand you like they're not about it but it's like that th there are people that don't support you me for example a lot of people don't support me but there are a lot of people that do and most of those people that do support me are from my hometown and I love my hometown, like it's economically growing right now. Like this bar is so nice. This coffee shop slash bar that I'm about to go study at is so nice. I'm about to show you guys. I'm excited to show you guys actually. This place has the Portland PDX vibes. Super hipster, everyone's in Chelsea boots. <laughs> I'm here at the archive now though. I'm gonna shoot some B-roll for you guys. Let you guys check out the archive. Anyway guys, catch you in a little bit. Stay tuned. Keep each other company
Everyone's here just working, like everyone's just working and enjoying work. That's the thing, everyone here enjoys work. Like I see it in everyone's faces, I see it in their posture, I see it in their voice, their complexion. Like everyone's here to work for a purpose. And I love that. I love the archive. When you're in a vibe like that, it puts you to work. You know what I mean? I love that stuff. Alright guys, stay tuned. If you like my video today, guys, please click like, click subscribe, comment down below. Until next time. Can we, we keep, keep each other company, oh, 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 oh.